looks like West Virginia has finally found the final piece of their coaching staff. And it's a very familiar name to Mountaineer Nation. Pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let's talk about it. What is up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos, and welcome into another edition of Coos's Corner. Pull that chair up and let me serve you up yet another shot of top shelf college football content. Today, we are talking the addition of none other than Blaine Stewart to the West Virginia coaching staff. That's right. Son of former West Virginia coach, the late, very beloved Bill Stewart, Blaine, is coming home. The Morgantown native is leaving his job with the Pittsburgh Steelers to come coach in Morgantown. Let's take a look at the article. I'll share it with you guys on the screen real quick. And then I'll give you my thoughts on this move. Article in, on, in Steelers Depot says, Steelers assistant coach Blaine Stewart leaving for West Virginia. The Pittsburgh Steelers coaching staff will have at least one difference next season, though it won't be replacing OC Matt Canada. The team is losing assistant coach Blaine Stewart. According to the PPG's Gary Dulac, Stewart is leaving to take a job at West Virginia. Meantime, assistant, here's what Dulac writes. Meantime, assistant receivers coach Blaine Stewart is leaving to join the staff at West Virginia, according to a source. Stewart is the son of the late Bill Stewart, who coached at West Virginia from 2000 to 2010, so the connection here is obvious. We remember Bill Stewart was an assistant here under Rich Rodriguez. Actually, Don Nealon and then Rich Rodriguez. Uh, then he got the head coaching responsibilities from 2008 through 2010 before they brought in, before uh, Oliver Luck brought in Dana Hogerson. And then he unfortunately and suddenly passed away uh, just a few months later. But it says the Steelers hired Blaine in February of 2018. He's worn several hats as an assistant coach. He's worked closest with the team's wide receivers and served as a co wide receivers coach with Ray Sherman in 2019 following the sudden, following the sudden death of Daryl Drake during training camp. Stewart has also worked closely with special teams coordinator Danny Smith on special teams. We noted Stewart as a rising star on the Steelers staff back in 2020, writing at the time and noting that back then he was in discussions to take a job at WVU. Stewart was in discussions to take the wide receiver coach job at West Virginia this year before that fell through at the last minute. Stewart and Ray Sherman took over the role of wide receivers coach in Pittsburgh this past year following Daryl Drake's death. Now, this would have been, the timeline of this would have been before West Virginia hired Jared Parker as wide receivers coach. So, Blaine Stewart was apparently in the running for the job then, and it, and it didn't work out. Goes on to say about Stewart, he's a bright, offensive-minded person who, like Martin, snagged a coaching gig at this year's Shrine game. Stewart worked with the West team's QBs, showing his versatility in coaching up multiple units. I think this time next year, he has a position coach role somewhere at the college level. West Virginia. Penn State, maybe his alma mater of James Madison, but somewhere. Remember, this was back in 2020. Then this, uh, the current article by Steelers Depot goes on to say, it's likely the COVID pandemic slowed down some of those plans to leave and Stewart remain in Pittsburgh. The team will likely look for his replacement, someone who can help out in multiple areas. Uh, my thoughts on this. Do I think this is a good hire? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I think it's a great hire in the fact that it's Blaine Stewart. Blaine Stewart is very well respected by all former players, at least the ones I've talked to at West Virginia. Uh, obviously, his dad is one of the most well-respected figures in the history of West Virginia football. He's very well-respected and liked by Mike Tomlin, has a great relationship with him. Uh, most of you probably know the story. Uh, Mike Tomlin and Bill Stewart were extremely close. Bill Stewart actually gave Mike Tomlin his first job as a coach at BMI. I think Mike Tomlin may have even lived with Bill Stewart for a while. And when Bill Stewart passed away, Mike Tomlin made sure that Blaine Stewart was taken care of and has done everything he can to help Blaine out, even giving him a job on the Steelers staff, and apparently has done a good job while he's there and seems to be well-respected by Steelers uh, players. Uh, and let's all don't forget, he's been there during the Bill, Ben Roethlisberger era. He helped coach him up a little bit, apparently, or at least uh, was able to learn from the quarterback coaches on that staff. He's been, you know, He's got to learn from one of the best NFL coaches out there in Mike Tomlin. So from that regard, I think this is a really good hire. Now, on the surface, a lot of Mountaineer fans are going to say he doesn't have any co college coaching experience. He's never been a position coach. He, he can't recruit, all that stuff. 
and I understand that, and that's the one reason I said yes and no. It is a risk here. It's a risk to hire Blaine Stewart as a coach because of the lack of experience on the recruiting trail. However, you know he's probably built very strong relationships everywhere he's been because of his personality and because of how well respected he is. And you can imagine by being on the Steeler staff, he's probably going to be allowed into pretty much any home in western Pennsylvania, which is a huge recruiting territory for West Virginia. Uh, it said there in the article he's worked with quarterbacks at certain shrine games and things like that, so he has coached different positions other than just wide receiver because we all know Bilal Marshall is the West Virginia's wide receiver coach. So my guess is, and this hasn't been announced yet, I expect an announcement will come from the university at any time, but I expect he will likely coach tight ends, and they will probably move Sean Reagan back to quarterback coach where he was at a couple years ago before they brought Graham Harrell in before the 2022 season. So more than likely, we're looking at Blaine Stewart as tight ends coach, Bilal Marshall as a new wide receivers coach, moving Sean Reagan back to quarterback coach, and obviously the promotion of Chad Scott, the offensive coordinator where he will work hand-in-hand more than likely with uh, Coach Brown calling the plays, with Coach Brown obviously having final say there. Uh, Mountaineer Nation, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think this is a good hire? Obviously, because of who who the young man is, I'm glad he's coming home because it is home for him. He grew up a West Virginia fan. You know, he he was a kid when his dad was coaching here. He's from Morgantown originally. Uh, This is home. So, you know, even though he's a James Madison alum, it is home for him. So I'm excited about it. In that regard, he is somebody with ties with the program, which I think we need more of. He can kind of take the place Travis Trigger was filling in that regard. Before that was Jamal Adai. But I think it is important to have somebody attached or connected to the West Virginia program on this staff. He can fill that role. He knows the program. He knows the culture. He knows what it takes to win at West Virginia. He watched his dad do it. And obviously he's been – he's grew up close enough to the program he knows – the culture of the of the university, of the area, and just of of Mountaineer fans and Mountaineer Nation in general. So I think in that regard, it's a good hire. Yes, he lacked experience, folks. Uh, and like Mike Kazaza said on the message board, 24-7 message board, yes, it, I mean, it looks bad on the surface. You're replacing Graham Harrell and Tony Washington, two experienced coaches, with Bilal Marshall and Blaine Stewart, two inexperienced coaches. But I think the NFL pedigree will go a long way with Coach Stewart, and we'll help him get in the living rooms, we'll help him coach players up, and we'll automatically earn him some respect amongst current players on the roster. Well, that being said, I want to hear your thoughts, though. Do you agree that this is a good hire? Do you think it's a bad hire? I want to know your opinions there. I ask that you please help me out if you can financially, folks. You can check out all the items in my merch store. Click the link at the top of my description box. Get you a shirt, a ball cap, a hoodie, a beanie, all kinds of different items to choose from over there. You can check out the Fanatics link, get you get yourself a custom NIL West Virginia jersey. One of your favorite football players is available. There's Dante Steeles, there's Sean Martin, there's, I think, Garrett Green's available, Nico Marquiel's available, a lot of players available. Get your custom NIL jersey by clicking the link in my description box. And if you don't want the jersey, click the link anyway. It, it'll get you into the Fanatics site, and then you can search for what you want. And if you buy something while you're on the site, I'll get a small commission from the sale. You can also support me by making a one-time donation using the Heart Thanks option below. Become a member of Cousin's Corner by hitting the join button right below. I'd like to give a special member shout-out to my two newest channel members, Brad Chaney and S.A. Tackett. I really appreciate you joining up on Cousin's Corner. Those are my two newest members. Some of the perks with membership, early access to some special videos, some members-only content, access to some contests, the shout-outs like I just did. Uh, once in a while, I'll do a live stream, and we'll give channel members the opportunity to join me on that live stream through StreamYard, things such as that. Those are just some of the things I have to offer there as a channel member. So click that join button if you want to be part of the Cousins Corner family here as a member. And as I grow the channel, I will add more perks to this. So be sure to uh, you know keep 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 an eye out for things like that. I'm hoping once I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll be able to add something new for my channel members. If you want to support me absolutely free, there's four ways you can do that. You can like the video, share the video, drop that comment below, and share this out with all of your friends. Let them know about Kuz's Corner. With all that being said, I really appreciate you tuning in to this episode. And until the next one, Q Country Roads.